And we're back with another episode of the Old Car Channel. Today we're going to be uh, pulling out quite a few cars, not quite a few, three cars out of the storage building and we're going to be bringing them up to the house garage so that we can work on them over the winter and uh, not freeze in the cold storage building like we did in 2019 on the white Mustang. That was that was not fun. Um, we're Canadian, yeah, we, we, we live in the cold, but we, we don't like it anymore. Actually, we, we never liked it. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get to the video, get those cars out of the storage building and into the garage so we can get busy. All right, folks, it's uh, it's moving day. Now, what are we moving, you ask? First up, we have a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am replica. California car, 350, automatic. Super solid, all original panels. This one will be getting a four-speed swap and possibly some other goodies. I think we're, uh, we're starting a collection of slots here. And next off, we have the 1965 Fastback that you all know from previous videos, which actually probably started my channel off. If you haven't seen those videos, go make sure to check them out. Anyways, this will be getting some much needed uh, TLC over the winter, fixing some leaks, fixing some suspension issues, and just making it ready for next season. And the next one I think a lot of you have been waiting on, so you might be excited for this one. And next up we have the 1964 Fairlane. People have seen this videos of the first start, and it's time to finally get it roadworthy and get it ready for next season. So let's start off with the easy ones, which are the drivers. 69 Firebird and the 65 Fastback. <laughs> Hey, old girl, it's been a while. Oh, come on. Haven't fired this up in at least three months. Not bad. It's pretty cold out today too. All right, so got the Mustang up. Now we're gonna fire up the Firebird. Got the can of consent, as Zip Ties and Buy Supply says. This has got the 50% 50, uh, 50 bonus feature, so. Should have known better. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Northern Canada, baby. All right, so got the Firebird all fired up. <laughs> no pun intended. Just gonna let her warm up a little bit, and then uh, bring her in the shop. As you can see, dash is all pulled out of her. They've been on a win streak lately, that's kind of nice. And 
that, that right there, that's gonna go. We don't need that boringness right there. And then, uh, yeah, clean up the interior because it's been sitting for a while. It's got a little bit of uh, mold, unfortunately, in here, but time to bring her out, get working on her. I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Got our battery trolley there with our booster battery and the cables. I didn't want to cut the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, gen lights on. That's not a good sign. Mishap here. We got uh, the concrete, which is about six inches higher. We slightly built it up here, but the ramp is not long enough. And uh, yeah, we. I don't think we hit it, but he says it was exactly. I just don't think that's the bend from us. I think it was previously bent. Like there's no brand new contact spots. So I'm gonna say that already happened. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just loading it up with some wood and then uh, getting it ready to get on the pad and in the garage. it would have been five turns to go that little bit oh these brakes are solid too okay oh good She goes. You're up next. <laughs> oh my God. All right, first I, time on the hoist and dad's already ooh, ooh and ungogging. I'd buy 10 of these if I could. <laughs> oh my Lord. How about it? My God, look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at this. Oh, got look it for, at that. Got it for beautiful welds. Huh? Oh. Nice metal. Look at this. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? All the factory. way up. Look, even the freaking lines are factory. Yeah. Nice. California IA. Yeah. Nice. Look at this. Oh, would you look at <laughs> this? All the overspray still there. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at all the pinch welds here. It's all nice. Brand new disc brakes, drop spindles. Gotta clean some things up, look. but uh, yeah, the pinch weld's all nice. Yeah. Beautiful, look, factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. How's the rear frame? Oh, Gorgeous. God. Perfect. Oh my lord. Perfect. Uh huh. How's the other side? Tell me as many as you can of these, please, people. Mint. Mint. I love, you know what I love though? Where is it? Right here. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what is this one? A coffee cup? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Wow. Or maybe like some fire resistant insulation of some sort. Oh, we, it's asbestos. So we need shit. some. We need some. Uh, <laughs> and is this a Magnaflow support? <laughs> yeah, we need some Flowmasters more like oh, it. The pipes are nice. They, they look like they're in the right spot. Look at all this. Look at, this. Look at this. All. Oh car, my gosh! Just car, look at it. Car is not like Oof. yeah like it was stuck yeah. behind uh nice a dryer factory for the longest time oh that's good nice what's that oil pan right on the engine on the cross member oh my god so it was welded to it <laughs> looks like goop uh, that must mean that maybe the supports are let go softened or something yeah. All right, so we got the Firebird and the Fastback out. Tomorrow we are going to pull the fair lane out. Uh, it's dark now and it's a little late, so we're gonna leave it till tomorrow. Probably hook it up to the Jeep and pull it out because it doesn't have brakes. But we got the 69 Mustang Coupe out of the way, so she's ready to go out early in the morning. God damn, I love this car. <laughs> Who's excited for this one? I know, I sure am. Look at those lines. 
Hey, hey, sir. What? Sir. Oh. Is that a uh, fair lane for sale? This one here? Yeah, that one right there. Ah, uh, sorry, no. Ah, oh, no? What about the dart? That one there? Yeah, the white one. No, sorry. No? Jeez, man, this guy. That's the one. It is today. Fair lane's finally coming out. You got steer now. <laughs> Ready? Does that thing got power steering? All right, so we got the Fairlane, the Mustang, and the Firebird in the shop. That one's staying there, that one's staying there. We're just deciding whether or not we wanna put the Fairlane in between the two garages. But the plan here is because we're doing the four-speed swap, we face the car inwards so that when we pull this car with the garage door closed, we'll still have room to work um, underneath the car to do the four speed swap. This one being that uh, we're gonna be going through the suspension and doing other things. We decided to put it on the hoist. And if we ever need to do any like daily driver repairs for ourselves, uh, we'll be able to move this car and just back it outside for the time being. But uh, that's pretty much what the shop's gonna look like for the rest of the winter. And we have the other side, sorry about all the mess. We are currently doing drywall but we got the ratty 65 uh, coupe and we got the race car coupe and then we have the 65 convertible long-term project car which hopefully is gonna get finished this year so we are packing in for the winter all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the old car channel let me know which one you're most excited to see is it the 65 fastback the 65 patina coupe the 65 uh, coupe race car, 64 Fairlane, 69 Firebird, or the 66 convertible, made a little mistake there, I think I said 65 earlier, uh, the 66 convertible restoration project. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, check out the merch store in the link below, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.